Iantropians. It's me, Mikhail. And guess where I am? Just guess. Because, I don't remember. Was it last week? Could have been the week before. It was probably the week before because I really haven't been around as much as I should be. I was talking to a friend of mine and she's like, well, I give it away because I said she. No. Um, she was like, hey, Aptropians, are there any vampires in hell? Because I heard there were vampires in hell, and I want to go hunt vampires. And they said, nope. And she went, no. And they went, nope. No vampires in hell. And she went, oh, well, that sucks. So then she asked me about it, and I went, yes, there are vampires in hell. I found quite a few points. Would you like me to send you the paws? And she's like, yeah. So I'm at one of them right now in a super secret hell location that I'll show you in just a minute. And I'm hunting the giant, what I would call the giant vampires. I don't really think they are giant, but they're the largest I've found so far. And, you know, this is all the bigger they get. Well, that's not horrible because then I can kill them without a bunch of decay and fapping and whatnots. So... Is it? Oh. Mauve. Mauve is a color. It's almost like purple, but not quite. Yeah, the other reason I like hunting down here is because my disco armor looks schnazzy in the dark. <laughs> you know, I bartended for a really long time, and I always made the joke, like, if the bar lights were too bright, I'd be like, turn those bitches down, because I look better in the dark. And people would laugh, but, you know, it's really true. At least in Entropia. I really do look better in the dark. So yeah, my super secret location. I'm really just hoping the global. That's what I'm really hoping for. But if you'll look on the hell map, you'll see that I am straight south of, oh, what used to be Hell 20. I don't know what it is anymore. The Bite Bandit Mine. And I am almost to the edge of the map, kind of off of the coast, like in the Bermuda Triangle, there. So anyway, um, but the three waypoints I marked are large vampires, like uh, pretty large, like very large. That's the three waypoints on my map, are the very large vampires. So that's kind of what I'm after, is I'm just sampling a few tonight to see if I get anything good. If I don't get anything good, then I still get a happy girl because... I didn't die, because these vampires are kind of wimpy. So yeah, um, and another great way, and I, I do kind of want to follow up on my other video, which was, I was talking about how sad this person was that they were trying to do a space service with a Slepner. Well anyway, I guess they changed their tune a little, and... <laughs> So, they're still in game and doing well, I guess, and got a mentor. So, yay for them! Because we really do want you new players to stick around. We just don't want you to be stupid about it so that you actually stick around. Because if you're stupid about it, then you get pissed off and say that Entropia took all your money and you go play something you know you can win. Like free sell. I can win with free cell, can't you? Now, spider solitaire, totally different animal. I could play with like two decks, and then uh, that's it. My dad plays with like five decks. I'm like, dude, how do you do that? He's like, well, I like it. It's soothing. <laughs> and if you'd meet the guy, you'd be like, what? The, what? <sighs> Yeah, he'll kick anybody's ass, but he watches Wimbledon tennis. I don't understand it. And, okay, so the other thing that's cool about the vampires in hell is you can see there's a, an assortment of, you know, vampy items, like the blood and the plasma and the teeth and, you know, you get your rock trophy records down here. Those are used for crafting. So, there's lots of things to be had, but man, I only have like 13 shots left. These bitches are, better start paying me. Don't 
make me get out my sword. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we were walking through the woods one night. Ah, oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. And bitch made me get out my sword. Here, I got a few more shots. What am I wearing? I'm wearing my disco. Love my disco armor. Let's look at the stats. I'm wearing with five Bs. And so that gives you a good visual on the stats. It's really basically the same as Jaguar. Um, these are limited pieces of armor. I do craft them and sell them when I get the materials. But they last a really long time. I mean, it is rare to have to replace these. Especially if you use the durability enhancers, which I don't have in the slot of this particular piece. But if you would put the durability enhancers in, they really do uh, extend the life of the armor, in my opinion. And of course, everybody's opinion varies, so by all means, listen to everyone and figure it out yourself. And yeah, I mean, I've been out here... Oh, geez, she just hit me for 11. 11. Oh, not that. I don't want to teleport. I want to heal. No, I don't want to teleport. I'm sorry. It's just, it's been so long since I've had to heal. I forgot how. Let's see. What am I using for a gun? Uh, let's see. My gun's up. What I'm using right now... We've got the... Isis Project Zero Four was the gun I was using with the Dacasos Precision Scope, the Bullseye One, and the Dynera Laser Sight. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I don't really notice a difference. I just like how it looks. <laughs> Cause I'm a girl. I like how my guns look. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to end up getting out my sword, my Archon, this is my Archon sword from Ancient Greece. I do have an accuracy enhancer on it, I have no idea why. Probably because I didn't have enough to sell in my shop. So, we're just going to start slicing the chips, and let's look at the stats. Uh, 26 to 53. With the critical hit ability bumped up to 12. Not horrible, but not great either. The Archon Swords are slightly more equal than some of the others. Four swords, as swords go. I mean, the nice thing is when you develop your melee, you increase your strength, which increases the amount of weight you can carry before you turn into the before you get into the red zone. So like you can see, I my weight, I can carry up to 343 kilograms. How many kilograms can your avatar carry? So I mean, that's where the that's where the melee is important. It's one, it'll increase your hit points, and two, it will increase your strength, so you can carry more stuff with you without being stuck walking around looking fat. Sure, it's expensive, but you know what? This whole game's expensive. Quit arguing with me. <laughs> I've told you already. You must pinch the pennies. Do what Ben Franklin said. A penny saved is a pen is a ped pack earned. And stuff. Did you know he was kind of a pervert? From what I've read. I don't know how true it is because he wasn't there. But apparently he went to France and had a couple of little friends that were real cute and stuff. And then at one point they wanted him to come back here for something. He couldn't make the trip because he was too busy getting married. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm really off topic. The other fun thing I've been doing in my spare time when I've been AFK crafting, if I'm not working, which I'm working a lot, does anyone want to do EDI with me? Anyway, um, so I've been working a whole lot, and in my downtime, when I'm not out playing with the horses, I've been watching this series of, um, I found it on YouTube, but it was a nine-part series that was put out in the 80s about the assassination of JFK and, like, how it was, like, 
these Corsican mafia people that were kind of a Cuba connection thing, and we all know Kennedy, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and a lot. So anyway, these um, the Corsican mafia, mafias were working with the Chicago Mafia, they hired some killers from elsewhere, like South America. Like, I'm watching this, and it's really fascinating. I've always had a thing for that. Like, I don't know. I mean, is there a conspiracy? I don't know. Did you, do I believe that Lee Harvey Oswald did? No, I never believed that, not since I was a little kid. Because I had a book that showed a picture of it. I don't remember why. It was some kind of like, you know, you preview the encyclopedia, so we're going to give you this book for free. Because my parents couldn't afford an encyclopedia for me when I was little, and I used to cry because I wanted an encyclopedia to read. <laughs> Thank God. That's why I Google everything. You can ask anyone I know. That's why I am a Googler. Because it's like an encyclopedia at my fingertips on my phone. I love it. I was the kid who read the dictionary cover to cover. I was. I was the kid who wanted an encyclopedia so bad that I cried. I didn't get one. But when I'd go to my rich friend's house, she had one. And she would want to play Barbies or Strawberry Shortcakes. Or what was the other doll big at the time? I don't even remember. And I was like, if you don't have any Can Evil doll, I'm not interested. And by the way, I would rather just sit here and read your encyclopedia. <laughs> so she stopped inviting me over because I wouldn't play Barbies with her. <laughs> We're still friends, it's okay. I mean, we don't talk a lot, but we talk about something. So anyway, well, apparently, I'm just not getting the greatest loot here. I just wanted to kind of show you how I do with my setup against these very large vampires. And also, again, where they were located in Hollywood. So that you have an idea. So that if you want to come and kill some vampires, well, you sure can. Because they're in hell on Octopia. And they're super fun. And maybe I should scan one for you quick. Since I'm really not doing the shit here, because I'm screwing around. I'm just screwing around. What? I'm not gonna sweat. It. I'm not sweating them. I used the wrong thing. There we go. Whew. That was so difficult. You don't even know. I'll heal myself. So anyway, so the default vampire chick, ancient. There you can see the stats. And you can also see, I'll just show you, what she's wearing, or what she's barely wearing. And her butt crack! Look at it! Look at it! It is horrid! I'm going to show you again. It's, whoa, hor- Whoa! Yeah, that is, hello. That's a deep butt crack. You know, I have a friend who has the largest butt crack I've ever seen. And she, I mean, I swear she can, like, pick up a baseball with her ass because <laughs> she's got such a large, wide cleft of a butt crack. But anyway, I mean, I'm not intimate with it or anything like that. I mean, it's just kind of a joke amongst friends because she'll buy pants and, like, everyone else, their pants are up over their butt crack. Her, her butt crack's sticking out. She cannot find pants that, that go up high enough on her waist, apparently, to cover her butt crack. But anyway... I digress. So, I'm going to say goodbye as I'm surrounded by these buttcracks, I mean vampires. And, uh, whoops, wave at ya. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Bye. Bye. Bye, I gotta start killing these things because otherwise they're just not gonna leave me alone. So, yeah, see you later. Have fun, have big, peace out, and remember to like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc., because Amazons need love too. TTFN.